There's just a lot of stuff that I need to pick up before we mow. And I don't know if I'm gonna mow today or if I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. Let's see how long it takes for me to get the rest of this stuff cleaned up. And I yeah, I think I am gonna have the kids hey, help me hey, out. Hey, hey, hey. What? I was just saying to a dog house. You were saying something about a dog house? I was wishing to get a dog house. Oh, wishing we could get a dog house. Yeah. Our dog doesn't need a dog house, he sleeps in our house. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to work. Ready? Let's get on it. Help me clean up the yard. Me, 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 me. You gonna help clean up too? I'm Come on, Tristan. Let's go. What are you doing? I'm filming. Let's go outside. Filming for what? For YouTube. Come on. Come on. I see a skateboard. A frisbee. Go get it. Go get the skateboard. Put it in front of the garage. Welcome back to At Home with Amy Jean. If you are new here, then welcome. I'm so glad that you are here. And as you can see, today we are working outside. The lawn had gotten away from me and we wanted to get it cleaned up. And actually at this point, my in-laws just arrived to um, hang out with the kids and my father-in-law decided to help me mow the lawn too. So that was really, really kind of him to step in and help me out. And so a warm welcome to my kids pop up and thank you so much for your help today and a welcome to being a part of our video today. <laughs> 
More often than not on my channel, I am doing more interior cleaning motivation and just day to day getting things done around the house. But today I'm focusing a little bit more outside. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy this video. If you do, go ahead and click that like button. And if you want more cleaning motivation or that sort of thing, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I'd love to have you as part of this community online and I'd love to get to know you a little bit. Go ahead and introduce yourself in the comments and I'd love to say hello. We don't have an edging to this garden so it just kind of overgrew itself and some of the weeds were encroaching with the grass into the garden bed and someday I would like to do beauty bark but at the age that my kids are they still run through the gardens and they run barefoot all summer and so beauty bark is just slivers in my mind and that's something I have to deal with at I don't know 8 30 9 o'clock at night when the kids are sleepy I'm tired and done for the day 
the last thing I want to deal with is a bunch of slivers in my kids' feet that are only bothering them when it's time to go to sleep. So someday we will do beauty bark, but for now, it is just, you know, got to keep up with the weeds. And I absolutely hate this bush. I don't know if you have any idea what this is. I don't know what it is, but it has spikes, literal spikes all over it. So you walk by it and you get poked. Um, there are probably like, I don't know, three quarters to an inch long spikes every other leaf and it just grows like crazy. We have cut this all the way down and it came back to huge. So I'm just cutting it down a little bit more and trying not to get stabbed by it as I clean it up, but I'm cutting it back significantly. <laughs> Um, if you have any tips on what this is and how to deal with it, or maybe, you know what, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I might just dig it up and get rid of it. It is pretty when it goes from green to pink to red or whatever, but I just do not like this plant. This is as good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin It's a good 
got the lawn done. Uh, my father-in-law helped me a lot. I'm so thankful for his um, support and help here. Um, and then, yeah, so this side of the house looks great. This side of the yard, just don't look at this garden. It has been a busy couple of days and getting this done feels really good. I'll get that garden another day. But for now, I need to take another shower <laughs> and put my feet up for a little bit and maybe just enjoy sitting on the deck for a little bit, drinking some water, that sort of thing. I think one of the kids is in the bath. It's 7.30 almost, so I need to get the other kids in bed. But, yeah, I think it's been a productive couple of days. I feel good about it. I don't necessarily like the way that I've edged these gardens. We're probably going to need to do a layer of the weed blocking plastic or something and then put fresh beauty bark over it. When we first moved to this house, we went to a friend's house and they had fresh beauty bark and my kids were very young and they came home. I think we even did baths and then put them to bed and like all of them woke up crying that their feet hurt. And I looked closer at their feet and <laughs> they had little slivers everywhere in their feet. So that has made it so that I don't really like fresh beauty bark. I think eventually I'd like to do some sort of gravel or I don't know, river rock or something like that around our garden bed so it's easy to pull weeds, but also should block a lot of them so that they, they can't grow quite the depth of roots, but I don't really know. That's a hefty cost for making my life easier. <laughs> Maybe someday, probably not this year. I'm gonna end this here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, I hope that you will like this and subscribe. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks. Oh.